Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it has been quite requested by a lot of you. I'm going to be reviewing and doing a lip swatch video of the entire Wayne Goss lip collection. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on the collection, if I think it's worth it, the pros and cons, all of that good stuff, then just keep watching. <laughs> on a low buy and I announced I was just gonna pick up a few colors for my review and then honestly I got very very stressed out and I was worried things were gonna sell out and then as I was also watching the swatch videos I realized how beautiful these colors would look in my bridal kit I've got to be honest with you this collection as a whole it speaks bridal to me spring and all of that stuff i've been refreshing my kit with all of the sales going on and i saw this lip collection i was like i want to put those colors in my kit so that's how i justified purchasing the entire line did i need to purchase the entire line absolutely not but i am happy that i did because i can really give you my full in-depth review and that's what i love to do this is my hobby i enjoy sharing with you guys my opinions because it really means the world to me when you guys trust my opinions i have my notes in front of me so if you see me look down that is what I'm looking at because I don't want to miss anything because obviously there are a lot of items in this collection. If you've been living under a rock basically Wayne Goss revealed his own cosmetic line. Now he has a brush line right now that is sold on Beautylish as well and his brushes are one of the top in the industry if you ask me. They're the best of the best and honestly that put him at a bit of a disadvantage because my expectations are high just as they are with the quality of his brushes. So I do want to add a little bit of a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. I know Wayne Goss is such a wonderful person. I respect him so much. I followed him for years. I trust his opinion. He's one of the best in this industry. Honestly, it really feels amazing that I get to try out his collection. This collection is coming from a true makeup artist, somebody who is the best in his craft, very highly respected in this field. So of course he knows more about makeup more than I ever will. But coming from more of a consumer standpoint, I am going to be completely honest with my constructive criticism and I love Wingoss very much and I am so excited for him for this collection but I do want to bring you guys of course the most accurate information about the collection as well. By the way, I painted my nails I was proud of it and now they're all chipped so this is why I don't paint my nails you guys because I'm too lazy to paint them again. So this is Wayne Goss's luxury lip collection. In this collection there are five lip liners, seven glosses, and ten lipsticks. If you are more curious about the individual colors, kind of my thoughts on them. I will be doing that in my try on portion. I'll be writing notes on the screen about what I thought of the colors. But this beginning half is kind of reviewing more so the general collection itself, the formulas and stuff like that, not necessarily the colors. So if you want more color interpretations, that will be in the lip swatch videos. Overall, let's talk price really quickly. The lip pencils are $14 each. And just after trying the formula and all of that good stuff, I definitely think these are a bargain. I think $14 for this is a really good deal. The lipsticks are $28, so that is more of the high-end kind of price range. I'll explain this more so when I get into the formulas. I think $28 if you're going to purchase many of these lipsticks is a bit too steep if you ask me. However, if you're going to pick up one or two colors, I think it's a very fair price. And the lip glosses are $22, and I think that's a pretty fair price for what you're getting. Overall, just kind of looking at the range. What I thought was that this is a gorgeous collection for spring. I don't know why for some reason I interpreted this as a nude collection. It's not a nude collection. I just think it's really wearable colors. My first thought when I opened up all the lipsticks was they were so wearable and I didn't feel intimidated by any of the colors which is a really good thing. There's a lot of lipstick ranges out there where the colors just look intimidating. I don't want to touch them. Every single color in here I knew I would like, I would feel comfortable with and I think that's what Wayne was going for and he did a great job with that. I also do feel as if all of the colors kind of mix well with each other. So you can mix the lipsticks with multiple lip glosses. You can mix the lip liners with multiple glosses and lipsticks. Like they all kind of match in some sort of way. Obviously not every single shade is going to match up, but I would say the majority of the colors are going to match up with a lot of different items in the collection, which is really awesome. And that really brings the whole collection aspect to this line. And not a lot of makeup brands can achieve that. For the normal everyday consumer, who's not going to pick up the entire line, I think that's really great. It makes it much easier for you because pretty much every color that you're going to get, if you decide to get one lip liner, one lipstick, and one lip gloss, they're going to go together well. And I think that's very special that Wayne was able to 
achieve that. You know, after trying out the colors, taking a look at all of the shades, the ranges, and also your guys' feedback as well, I do think that this range isn't complete. I think we're missing some depth and some undertones. I personally would like to see a little bit more brown tones, and I definitely would like to see more depth. I would say about 50% of the collection is lighter than my skin tone. I have a light to medium skin tone, and then the remaining 50% of the collection is not <laughs> that much deeper than my skin tone and obviously I'm very light compared to a lot of others with deeper skin tones so the colors are beautiful and they will work on a lot of different skin tones but it's going to take playing around with different lip liners and lip glosses to really make the lipsticks work so I do understand that this is his first launch he invested his own money into this which is phenomenal and makes it even more of a reason that you should look into the line but I definitely would love to see him expand the line as far as depths and undertones so I'm gonna start off by talking about the lip liners specifically. The packaging of these are very, very simple. For me, these are artist-friendly lip liners. I really enjoy these. These honestly might be my favorite part of the collection. They are $14 and they are wooden, so you have to sharpen them. I love a good wooden lip pencil. Formulation-wise, these are a more waxy formula. I would say they remind me of the MAC formula, but they don't have as much pigmentation, I would say, as the MAC, but these are fine, definitely. You can actually add depth as you build the color on your lips which I think it's very nice to be able to have that ability. These really can't be used to cover the entire lip look though because they are more waxy but that's okay because these are lip liners. If you get into the formula of like color pop those are really creamy you can actually wear those as lipsticks but that kind of defeats the purpose of a lip liner. These you actually need to line around your lips and they're actually going to stop your lipstick from bleeding so they're uncomfortable to put all over the lips but actually to lip line they are really awesome and I mean that's why I use lip liners so I'm happy to see that. As far as the color range here goes I really love all the colors but I definitely think there's room for expansion. For me personally I'm a big brown lip liner lover. I want some more brown based colors in here. Most of these run very pink. Right now I am wearing sapia as the lip liner here and this is kind of the only one besides cinnamon that adds a lot of it depth to my lips and this one is very very cool which is awesome but I would love to see more warm brown lip liners as well in this collection but I think he hit the nail on the head with the lighter three colors because they are very natural lip tones that you can wear for every day and not have to worry too much about matching it with lipstick because they're pretty much your lip color. You have a red one and kind of this more cool toned one but other than that you know there are definitely are holes in this that I feel need filled but it's the first launch so I'm sure there are plans to do that anyway. But yeah, I think these are probably my favorite part of the collection. They're really great, really great colors, a very nice formula. Just be prepared for a more waxy formula. I think right now we are more used to those creamy formulas. That's what's popular. But these are down to the basics lip liners. Now let's get into the actual lipstick, which is I'm sure what most of you are excited for. As far as the packaging goes, it's just very simple, very clean. I love the Wayne Goss kind of meeting at the corner here. It's a snap closure. I love the magnet. I'm not gonna lie. Something about it feels a little bit more luxurious, but it's functional packaging. It's fine. In this line, he came out with 10 lipstick shades, and this one I think is where I'm going to be the hardest about the color range in here. As I stated previously, about 50% of the colors were lighter than my skin tone for me would require a deepening lip liner just to make it a little bit more approachable and wearable and then the last remaining five which in a spectrum of skin tones should be for deeper skin tones too dark on me they actually really didn't have that much depth on me as well the darkest two shades zinnia which is like that red that first coat it is so sheer which i like don't get me wrong but the darkest shade is not that dark you can build it up of course but i just feel like there could be so much more depth in this and then carnation is the second darkest color and that's kind of like the everyday color that i can wear without a lip liner i personally would love to see more brown based nude types of colors in this line as well just because i feel like these colors are very pink but you know what these are very spring appropriate colors so it's perfect that this collection released at this time of year but definitely down the road i would love to see him expand with some more nudes more brown based colors and of course i think a lot of people would appreciate some more depth as 
as well. It's just his very first launch. I wouldn't go too hard on him. I would say the majority of the colors are very pinky, peachy kind of base. The lighter shades pulled a little bit brighter on my skin than I was expecting. I'm not mad about that, but they definitely need to be paired with lip liners for me to feel comfortable. But overall, I really liked every color on me. I thought they were very pretty. As far as the formula goes, they're a more sheer formula. It does take building. They're comfortable on the lips. They're creamy. They have a shine. It's a thinner formula. Just for reference, if you're familiar with Charlotte Tilbury's formula, I find Charlotte Tilbury's formula to be thicker. This is a thinner formula, so it doesn't fill in the lips like the Charlotte Tilbury does. It doesn't plump up the lips quite as much as the Charlotte Tilbury does. You know, you can build the formula to get that depth, but it's never really going to reach full pigmentation. That's not a bad thing. It's what makes these colors really wearable and really approachable. Just know you're not getting a fully packed one swipe lipstick. Honestly, it's a little bit more comfortable to build because you can get more out of the color if you ask me. So for example, today I'm wearing the lightest shade Camellia and I started off with just one swipe to really lighten it and then I decided I wanted it even more nude. So as I got closer to the center of the lips, I built up that pigmentation and I just really like that. I think it's much easier with application as well when you have a more buildable formula, but just be aware if you are purchasing those deeper shades, they do take some building up to get the brightness that you see in the actual bullet. And then now finally, let's talk about the lip glosses. The lip glosses, the packaging is really cute. I like it. It's again, very simple. I like how simple the packaging is in this line and I really enjoy the applicator as well. I think it's a really nice shape to get every crevice of the lips and nothing gimmicky, just really good and very cute. It's like a nail polish. He has three different finishes in this line. He has more of like a flat lip gloss, normal kind of finish. He has a glitter finish and then he has two more I would say metallics in this line. So two of them almost look foiled on the lips and that does not look good on its own, but it looks good on top of another lipstick. The foiledness almost adds an extra little bit of dimension to the lips, which I really like. And I do enjoy his lip gloss line. I don't think you need to purchase all seven of them. I think a few of the colors run very close to each other. For me, I would more so focus on purchasing the different formulas and finishes rather than the different colors. The glosses are more pigmented than I thought they would be, but not a full pigmented gloss. It's not super sheer, like you can see the color that does differentiate the colors from each other. But if you're tight on money, I wouldn't say it's worth buying all of them, but it's a nice formula. I don't think there's anything super unique about it, but it does what it's supposed to do. The actual formulation of it really mixes in with the lipstick formula as well, which I think is really nice. Sometimes you'll notice with the lipstick, the lip gloss will kind of sit on top. These two really mix together, which is really nice and actually makes your lips feel more flexible and much more comfortable as well. As far as wear time, I didn't notice it lasting an exceptionally long amount of time, but I mean, it's a lip gloss. That's nothing out of the ordinary. It's not extremely shiny, like say a Fenty, but it does add a nice shine and plump to the lip. Super comfortable and not sticky at all. But if you do this all the time, like I did when I was doing a wear test, it does fade away. So you will find the best shine and lasting ability to be there when you don't do this all the time like I do so <laughs> don't do that but anyways that is everything about the formulas and the price and all of that I think everything is very very solid in their line and this being the first release of cosmetics I think Wayne you did an amazing job and I can't wait to see your collection grow from here and see what creative things you come out with I'm going to start off with the swatches so you can see the colors on my arm I'll explain what colors I find to be a little bit closer to each other because like I said I don't think you need the entire collection but there definitely are some pieces that are worth picking up so I try and stop you from getting two colors that look very close and then after that I'll get into the lip swatches and then I'll write notes about the individual shades of what I thought and yeah so let's get into okay. it so lip liners in this order starting from this side we have vintage pink then natural berry, and then mauve, and then sapia, and then cinnamon. I think all of these are lovely and different, and he has a very good range here. So here are all 10 of the lipstick shades in this order, starting from here. We have Camellia, Daisy, Magnolia, Dahlia, Lotus, Amaryllis, Lily, Orchid, Carnation, 
and Zinnia, I believe is how you pronounce it. Based on swatches, you can definitely see these first five shades are very similar, very slight differences in the undertone. So again, Camellia, Daisy, Magnolia, Dahlia, and Lotus, I think are ones that you may only want one or two of rather than all five. I think that Daisy and Magnolia are very similar. Magnolia is just a little bit deeper. Dahlia and Lotus are very, very similar as well. And even Camellia, even though it's lighter than these two, it is kind of the same tone. So I would say you definitely only need one of these three, one of these two, and the rest over here is where we're starting to get a little bit of bigger differences. But yeah, a concern of mine was that a lot of these colors were kind of close to each other, and I think these swatches kind of show you that they are different, but I think on the lips, go with what undertone flatters you better if two shades are kind of similar because they're not going to be too, too different on the skin. Just that undertone will make the difference, not necessarily the shade. So here we have the lip glosses. We have Tulip, Antique Rose, Hibiscus, Hyacinth, I believe is how you say it, Cherry Blossom, Petunia, and Chrysanthemum. I think individually each of his lip gloss shades are stunning, but again, lip glosses are sheer and these don't seem to run too, too pigmented, so I definitely don't think that you need the entire line, I would say. Most definitely Hyacinth and Cherry Blossom. I think you don't need both of these. So again, you know, if you're looking for variety, kind of choose one from this section and one from this section and one from this section, and then you have a pretty good variety from the range. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times So I know my way around Don't stop looking at me Too much and Van Gogh might take a while, but 
Thank you for coming and thank you for trying to do anything to make me smile. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my thoughts on the entire Wayne Goss Luxury Lip Collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. I hope this video inspired you to pick up a few shades, and I want to know if it did, what shades did you decide to pick up? What shades are your favorite? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.